Are you ready? No. Riley James. 465 days ago, I downloaded a countdown app and I entered our wedding date. The first few months, I opened the app daily, sometimes even multiple times a day. I eventually learned that if anything, the countdown made time seem to stand still when we were hundreds of days away and hundreds of miles apart. September 17th, 2022 is here. Today is our day. Today we praise the Lord for the incredible gift we're about to receive. The gift of marriage, the gift of a life partner, soulmate, and forever ice cream date. And the opportunity to celebrate this gift with our family and friends. Gosh, I can't. Okay. Oh, I don't know, I'm nervous. Catherine Eleanor. They say that life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but rather by the moments that take our breath away. And you have been taking my breath away since the day I met you. I don't know what she looks like yet, but... Oh my goodness. You look so beautiful. It's a wedding day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, babe. You look so good. <laughs> Love you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, how are you guys doing? You doing okay? It's a good day, yeah? We feel good? It's amazing the amount of stuff that has to happen to make a moment like this happen, right? Like a year of preparation and details and all those things. So here's what I want to do. I just want to like slow down and breathe a little bit. So I, well, let's just talk a little bit about what sets the stage for this moment right here, okay, today. So we've got Kate here looking beautiful in her wedding gown. I should practice this. Kate is from Fargo. She was a sports star. She was the homecoming queen. She went off to NDSU to pursue her pharmacy dreams. And even though, this is according to Riley, even though she has three fake teeth, still uses her baby blanket, and can't really dance. <laughs> Riley says his favorite thing is how she gives everything she does in life her all. Gorgeous. Love you. Let's do this. Yep, let's do it. And then we have Riley over here, also a sports star, also came to NDSU for pharmacy. And according to Kate, even though he's annoyingly good at everything he does except skiing, Kate says that her favorite thing is his genuine kindness and sense of humor. And then there was the moment at Sanford here in Fargo on Broadway where Kate walked in and Riley's jaw hit the ground. <laughs> and even though he's really ugly and off-putting, Kate agreed to start hanging out with him too. And after a long cycle of classes and their rotations and their long distance calls and meeting each other's families and traveling to Florida together and that long drive back from Billings and lots and lots of ice cream dates, whether you were together or over FaceTime, including that afternoon last May at Silver Linings where Riley popped the question right, these two have decided that they're going to be each other's person, to have and to hold, to journey through life with, to merge their two stories into one, till death do they part. Which brings us to this place, brings us to this day, to this moment, to this aisle that Kate walked down, to this opportunity for you two to step into your future together. You know, Kate had a few boyfriends. The funny thing is, she never brought them home. I still hadn't met Riley. So then one day, Beth and I are going to church. Well, who shows up? This Riley dude. Who does that? Shows up to meet the parents at church? Like, this kid's a brown noser. He's out. He's out. I was done with him. 
problem is he kept coming around. And weeks went by, months went by, years by, and, and I couldn't scare this one off. He just kept coming around. Next thing I know, he's going on family vacations with us. I'm sharing a hotel room with this kid. Uh, he's living with us. Yeah, the, the funny thing is, you guys, never once from the very beginning did I ever feel like my style of being cramped. It just, it was always just easy, just natural. I mean, today's official. Riley's part of the family. Um, but he's been a part of the family for a long time, and Kate wasn't getting rid of him. Lord Jesus, we just, um, our hearts are filled with gratitude today. God, for Kate and Riley, and for um, the way that you have just um, loved them so much and given them the ability to love one another. And so, Holy Spirit, we just invite you into this uh, into this day, this wedding, but more importantly, um, we invite you into their marriage um, to bind them together and um, help them to walk through this life loving one another, encouraging one another, building one another up. God, I give you praise for this beautiful bride, this beautiful sister of mine that I get to call such a great friend. Oh Lord, I give you thanks and praise for this day. We've waited a long time for it and you have found, blessed us over and over again and what a blessing to have a daughter like Kate and to have Kate have found Riley. I just give you a praise for your, your perfect plan and what you have in store for us. I know the next years, months, days are just going to be filled with the greatest blessings for Kate and Riley and I'm so excited to watch that unfold. I vow to continue to date you every single day and always be the gentleman you deserve. I promise to always let you rest your eyes on car trips unless you fall asleep in my arms during movies. Every day with you in it is much better than without you. Uh, you make me laugh, you fill me with joy, and most importantly, make me want to be the best version of myself. I love you, Kate, and thank God every day for putting you in my life. I can't wait for my life with you and the endless moments that take my breath away. From this day forward, I promise to take your hand and be your best friend and partner through this life until the day the Lord calls us home. I promise to never stop laughing, loving, and making sweet memories with you at your wedding. Lord Jesus, would this day glorify you, and more importantly, would their marriage glorify you? Woo! We love you, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. incredible team. Not only do they form the best pickleball team, cornhole pair, and two-man basketball team, they also encourage each other to grow in faith. They match each other's need for everything to be perfectly in order, and they are the best at making the people in their life feel special and loved. You've been with me in the highest highest moment of my life. You were my best man, um, and you've been with me in some of the lowest moments, and, and you've been with me everywhere in between. And, and you know, I'm just so honored to be here. Um, it doesn't matter what we're doing, whether we're 
sitting at B-dubs on a Sunday afternoon watching football or just sitting on the couch watching New Girl. Uh, we, we always have a blast doing doing anything that we're doing. Um, and it, it's been an honor going through life with you. Um, and Kate, it's, it's been amazing getting to know you, seeing your family, seeing where you come from. It, it, I, I know he's getting a truly amazing wife. If we could all raise our glass and just cheers to the happy couple. Cheers to the Seanugs! Woo!